Hi, this is Jason from Rockland Technologies, and today we're going to be setting up the Alpha Tube 2 HP, which is a long range Wi Fi receiver but with power over Ethernet instead of USB. So that's kind of what sets this product apart. Instead of our standard Wi Fi adapters for outdoors that have the USB connection, this one has a PoE or power over Ethernet connection. So the setup's a little bit different. Inside your box, you get a power supply that looks like this here and it has two ports on the side, one that's called Gigabit LAN, one that's called Gigabit PoE. Now, the 22HP does not come with any Ethernet cables in the shipment, so you will need to source your own, but you can go up to 100 feet in length, which is nice because it allows you to really extend the distance of where you put this. I'm gonna just reach off screen here and grab a couple of Ethernet cables that I have for this demonstration. So, what you do is where it says Gigabit PoE, that's going between the tube 2 HP PoE port and the power brick. So we'll get a shorter cable for that. Go ahead and plug one in. Plug this in here. And inside your shipment, you do get a power cord that you can plug into the power brick. So you'll connect that like so. And then this is gonna plug into the wall. So your long cable, if you're gonna go say 50 or 100 feet, you'll wanna have that going from the PoE all the way to the outside. But to configure the device, we do have to configure it on a computer with an ethernet port. So that's what our other cable for is here. We'll plug that in, and we'll plug the other end into this gigabit LAN port. Now we just need to attach an antenna to the top of the tube to HP, and then we can begin our setup process on the computer. Now that we've set up the Tube 2 HP hardware, we're going to do the software configuration. To do that, we need to jump into your control panel. If you're using a different version of Windows than Windows 10, you can simply search for the Network and Sharing Center. Inside the Network and Sharing Center, go to Change Adapter Settings and locate your Ethernet adapter. Click it once and then right click and select Properties. When the Properties window comes up, click on Internet Protocol Version 4 and click Properties. We're simply going to give our Ethernet adapter a compatible IP address for this Tube 2 HP. So that's going to be 192.168.2. Those are the numbers that matter. The last one just can't be 1. I'm going to make it 35, just a number far away from 1. We click in the subnet mask. It's going to fill in for us. And the default gateway, we're going to make the same as the Tube2HP's IP address, which is 192.168.2.1, and we'll click on OK. And that's going to basically open up the gateway of the computer so that we can communicate with the Alpha Tube2HP. Once we've done that, we'll go ahead and open up a web browser so that we can finish out the setup. Inside the web browser, we're going to go to the 192.168.2.1 number. Go ahead and type that in up there. And that's going to take us to the alpha sign-in page. The default login name is going to be admin, and the default password is also admin. When you're inside, go ahead and click on Easy Setup and you need to select an operation mode. If you're setting this up as a router or access point, you'll choose one of these. Today we'll be choosing client bridge. This will set it up as an internet receiver or an ethernet receiver so that we can connect to a Wi-Fi network. We'll click on next. And on this screen, everything is fairly straightforward. We're simply gonna click on site survey. And it's gonna show us the list of available Wi-Fi networks around us. The one that we want to connect to, in this case, is going to be our office network, so we'll click Select. And then all we have to do is come back here and enter in our password for our office network. When we're finished, we'll click the Done button. And now we'll get the countdown timer. It'll take about 70 seconds, but we're just going to skip ahead in the video until it shows zero. Once the reboot countdown hits zero seconds left, it's normal to see this come up on your page. This is normal because the Alpha 22 HP now has an IP address from the network you're extending. So what we need to do is go back in to our control panel and turn off the manual IP address that we set up before the setup. 
So we'll go back into the Network and Sharing Center. We'll go back to Change Adapter Settings. We'll click on the Ethernet. We'll right click and select Properties. And we'll click on the Internet Protocol version 4. And we'll simply click on Obtain an IP Address automatically and click OK. And then we'll click the Close button. Now note it can take up to 30 seconds for the IP address information to propagate. What we're going to do is look down here. And our Internet access now shows that we're connected to our local network. So we should be able to open up another browser tab and go on to the Internet. And sure enough, the Internet's working. Now, if you want to get back into the AlphaTube 2 HP to make any changes to the mode or to connect to a different network, remember that number is not going to work. You'll have to go back into your control panel and change back to the manual IP address just like we did at the beginning of the setup video. Remember this is uh, enterprise class product. It's a little bit more technical in nature to set up than our USB product. So this is why we have the setup video. But just keep in mind if you need to get back into the unit you'll want to start from step one of this video, set up the manual IP address, then you'll be able to log in and go through the setup wizard and then when done you'll want to go back into your network and sharing center and turn off the manual IP address to use the device. Yes.